and certainly PUSH now stands right up there with standing at stretch line. Stands right there with it. And that's why I've gone through all this trouble to get the sequel. I never come out on a Saturday morning unless I'm going to the beauty parlor. Wow. Okay. That's very telling. Yes. So I'm out, and I don't have on sweats or jeans. Wow. Yeah, and you're not dressed bad. You're just okay. great. You look okay. you look like a character right out of Push. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> so um, so speaking of Push, that's the first book you read by me. And yes. I mean, your reaction is what? Oh, my reaction is that, wow, what a book. What a story. Mm -hmm. What a story. How well written. It is well written, it is smart, it is intelligent, it is fast, it captures the essence of each character and why they do what they do and how it all comes together. It's just wonderful. I hated to finish it. <laughs> and again, you read a lot of books, so yes. um, if you were to put Push on a scale of 1 to 10. Ten. <laughs> that goes under my four stars without a doubt. It, do you see a movie out of this Absolutely. book? Absolutely, and I have you one better. I even know the character of Bush. And let me tell the, uh, the uh, actor, let me tell you what I thought about that, how okay. I came up with that. I said, this character is so deep, so intense. Who could play him in a movie? I had no. I said, you have to get a picture of him in your mind. And I did. You want to know who it was? The whole world wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you watch The Wire, mm -hmm. the young drug dealer on The Wire who was came up in competition with uh, Stringer and his partner, his name was Marlo. I don't know that actor's name. But he, I think, has, that's the picture I got in my mind for Push, because he has the depth, and the character has the depth and intensity. Now, you know, I, I actually don't watch a lot of TV, because I'm busy I out in the streets it. meeting people like you. Yeah. And um, uh, that also helps me keep a clear mind when I am doing my writing. This way I don't c conflict with other writers and other ideas. Right. How do I compete with TV, the TV world? And apparently you're a big TV watcher also. How do we compete with the TV world in terms of my books and, and my writing style? And I'm not sure I understand the question, well, but you know. there's no competition. <laughs> there's no competition whatsoever. Uh, so you could visualize the things that, that are in push to be on the big screen. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt, yes. But you see, I came up with this character, this actor, mm -hmm. because, like I said, he portrayed the depth and intensity and thoughtfulness of Push. And, and I just cannot read in a vacuum. I have to give a face to people. So this is the face I chose to give to Push. Well, thank you, Joan. <laughs> so, obviously, it wasn't a shallow book. Absolutely not. And you said something about politics, the public, political end of the book. Yeah. And, and you know, what I like, I'll, I'll, I'll address that. But what I like about books is when the author can create a cross and a double cross and a triple cross mm. and push as all those things. A, a triple cross. A oh, triple no. cross. In other words, that's, coming out of left field, you never expected that's it. That's right. You say, what? <laughs> I mean, even if you're on the train, you're reading, and what? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful And, and yeah, right. Um, politics, you know always knew that uh, politics were the first line of gangsters. So politicians, they <laughs> were the head gangsters anyway. So uh, it makes a lot of sense to me that it's all intertwined.
and and very brilliantly, I must say. Okay, thank you so much, Joan. And you're an avid reader from New Rochelle. Yes. And um, I guess you're now you're you're look, you're holding to live and die in Harlem. And I'm going so to read the rest of them. Okay. Right. You'll you'll be happy to know there's about eight other books that are based on Push. <laughs> that is wonderful. So we'll keep you busy for years to come. Oh, that is wonderful. And in the meantime, um, uh, anything you, else you want to say to uh, friends, family, uh, people around the world that are watching? Well, those of you who are readers, I mean, pick up Relentless Aries. Okay. Uh, he is great. As far as I'm concerned, he's the hottest author that's come on the scene in a long time. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it's my pleasure to okay. look up okay. and, and uh, be able to meet him.